Hi, I'm Richard from the Grammar Goat English Academy. Welcome to my English language lesson. Today's lesson is all about idioms. I'm going to teach you seven idioms that you must know. Are you ready? Okay, let's start the lesson. Seven idioms that you must know in English. But what is an idiom? An idiom is a group of words, a phrase, which has a special meaning, a special and unique meaning. You can't work out the meaning of idioms by looking at individual words. I'll show you an example. The exam was a piece of cake. A piece of cake. Exam, cake, well, they don't really go together, do they? I mean, you're not allowed to eat in an exam. You certainly can't take cake into an exam. A piece of cake is an idiom and it has a special and unique meaning. What does it mean? Well, a piece of cake means easy. The exam was a piece of cake. The exam was easy. OK, did you know that English idiom, a piece of cake? I'm going to teach you seven more really useful, really common English idioms. It's really important to learn idioms in a situation, a context. This makes the idiom memorable and brings it to life. The first one is with blue. News came out of the blue. Here is a situation for you. One day, out of the blue, my boss told me I was fired. You're fired. Get out. The news came out of the blue. The news was totally unexpected. Next, we've got our devil. Speak of the devil. Hi, John. Imagine a conversation, two people talking. One person says, and then John said, I hate you. Door opens and John, the person we were talking about, enters. John arrives. <gasps> speak of the devil. Hi, John. We say speak of the devil to refer to someone we're talking about when suddenly they arrive. In this situation, the people are talking about John, and then John arrives. Speak of the devil, John. Next, I'm not coming to the party. I'm under the weather. I'm under the weather. I'm sick. I'm ill. You've hit the nail on the head. Why do you think I don't have my phone? The other person says, it's broken. You've hit the nail on the head. You've hit the nail on the head means you're right, you're correct. Say you've hit the nail on the head when someone is 100% correct. They are right. The ball is in your court. You can buy my car. The price is £10,000. The ball is in your court. Say the ball is in your court to tell someone that the decision is theirs. It is their decision to make. A little bird told me, you're getting married. Congratulations. Someone told me, you're getting married. But I don't want to tell you who. Say, a little bird told me if you don't want to reveal the identity of the person who told you. And the last one. Yesterday I had no energy, but today I'm full of beans. I'm full of beans means I have lots of energy. Wow, there we are. You've had your eight idioms. A piece of cake out of the blue, speak of the devil, under the weather, hit the nail on the head, the ball 
is in your court, a little bird told me, and finally, full of beans. Were these idioms new for you? Let me know in the comments. The last thing to remember when learning idioms is idioms are very useful to understand when you're listening or when you're reading. They're more difficult to use when you're speaking or when you're writing because the context is so important. Which idiom was your favourite? Write me a sentence using your favourite idiom in the comments. As always, if you've learned something from my lesson, like the video and of course, subscribe to my channel, The Grammar Goat English Academy. Good luck with your English language learning and I'll see you in the next English lesson.